Hello and welcome to another Dominaria Draft League. Okay, so looking at this pack, we have Right of Bellin's Lock. Bellin's Lock? Bells and Lock. Uh, so four mana to make four O ones and then a six six demon, six six flying tribal demon that you have to sack a creature at each upkeep, but it gives you a bunch of creatures to sacrifice. Uh, and if you can't sacrifice, then it does six damage to you. The artwork is awesome. I really like the design of these Saga cards, so probably that's what we're taking. Uh, also nice, it's like the only black card in the pack, besides Soul Salvage, which... Like, whatever. Um, other good cards, let's see what this is. Fungal Plots. Sacrifice a creature to make a 1-1 Sapling. Oh, that's kind of cool. Gain 2 life and draw a card. That seems like a really fun build around. Tatsuko seems awesome. Uh, it seems like the kind of card that would only give you unblockable if it's power one or less, but also toughness. I feel like a 3-1, it's unblockable. We're going to take right here and move into pack 2. So there's Eviscerate, which I think is just pretty good. Um, it is in black, which is the color we're in. I really like Weight of Memory. <laughs> At least it got me through my last draft, and I think this set seems like it comes down to top deck wars quite frequently. If you have a way to recoup lost card advantage, that can really just push you ahead. Um, the biggest issue is that it's double blue, and we have a really good black card that we would like to play, so we don't necessarily want to cement ourselves into blue-black right away. So I think I'm just going to pick up Eviscerate. Um, Deathbloom Thalid is notably pretty good with Rite of Bez and Locke as well, because um, you can sack him to the demon. But I'm just going to take Eviscerate. Efficient removal. Kills anything. There's a lot of big threats in this format that you would like to kill. <laughs> okay, so this pack... There's not much good black. Um, so that's the first thing to note. Uh, the skin witch is okay. I mean, I probably would play it, but I don't know if I want to... take it this early, you know? Just to stay in black. I think I'd rather take a better card in a different color if they're there. Um, Academy Journey Mage is excellent. It is better in blue-red, because there aren't that... I don't know if there are any wizards. Well, never mind. There are wizards in black. Um, Belduk gives you a bunch of 3 1 trample hasty elementals. Orcish Vandal's cool if you have a bunch of artifacts. Gideon's Reproach is pretty efficient. So I actually don't know how well like the color pairings work together in this format. Um, so I don't know like if black white is better than blue black or if there's any synergies there. Um, I think I might just take the Reproach, honestly. Yeah, we're going to take Reproach. Oh man, there's Deep Freeze. Well, I could just take Deathbloom Thalid. Also, Fungal Plots. Although I don't know how many creatures... I guess this card's only quite good if you have a lot of creatures, huh? I might just take the Thalid. It's a great blocker. Just an efficient card all around. Though Deep Freeze is very good, too. Just kills anything. You go like Esper removal. <laughs> no, I think I'm gonna stick to the course, take the Thalid. Yeah. Over Fungal Plots is interesting, but we're, we're just gonna take this. Stay black. Okay, Thalid Omnivore is good with Death Bloom Thalid. Um, there's a Foil Shauna. The Warcry Phoenix, I think, is decent in general. Um, but not really for our deck. Another Skin Witch. Divination is fine. I think I'm going to take the Omnivore, though. Really good with Death, Death Bloom Thalid. Just a great card in general. Okay. So, here we have Gitu Chronicler. It's a good way to buy back cards like Eviscerate and Gideon's Reproach. Um, not too interested in that card. Syncopate, I think, is decent. Wow, red actually does seem quite open. This guy being really one of the better wizard payoffs, I think. Um, if, if you get enough wizards, he's kind of like a pseudo Flame Tongue Kavu, which <laughs> is an absurd card for those who have never played with Flame Tongue Kavu. This is actually a really tough pick because red looks very open. I'm not sure if I want the Fire Fist Adept because it does at least ping for one, or if I just want to go for the G2 Chronicler and play it safe. I think I'm going to take the Chronicler. Although Grow from the Ashes would be interesting in this deck as well. 
Mm, maybe I should have taken the crow from the ashes, because that would have let me splash a lot of cards. I didn't have enough time. Although this is interesting as well. This reanimates creatures. So if I have a lot of uh, Thalids running around, or rights of... I gotta like, learn how to pronounce this. Bells and Lock. Okay. Um, this card is okay. Deep Freeze is also pretty good. Maybe we just tried this out. See how good it actually is. I don't know if there's good ways to get big fatties into your graveyard. You do have a lot of four drops as well. I'll try it out though. Wow, okay. Blue Red Wizards is wide open. Absolutely wide open. So I think this card is actually very, very good. Um, but we're going to have to like completely... Man, this is hard because we're going to have to change our archetype completely to draft these. I think I take the Fire Fist Adept. We're more likely to want to be red. Because we already have the Gitu Chronicler. And I think this is a better effect than the Journey Mage. I'm going to take the Fire Fist Adept. Passing a Mesa Unicorn as well. But yeah, so now we can take... Hmm. Is this a wizard? Human rogue wizard? No. Because this would be sweet in a wizard's deck. I don't think I'm really going to be playing any of these. Royal equipment. This is the highest upside. I'll take this. Um, man, this is a weird draft. I don't really like the Homerid Explorer. Not looking like we're that aggressive, but I guess it's possible we do backdoor into blue red wizards. And I think in that archetype, probably Arcane Flight is what we would want. So, second artifact, this kills anything. I think this has a higher upside than the assistant. We'll take it. And we saw another one as well. Yeah, this guy. So, if we get enough artifacts, these guys can just start mowing down creatures. Not really down for cold water snappers. Bloodstone Goblin. I'm not really into that wall. It is an artifact for the Vandals, but I think the Goblin's just better. Alright, well, red is very open. This is a weird draft all around. <laughs> Ooh, if you have not watched my last draft, pause this video, go watch how good this card is, and then come back. <laughs> You're just forcing this. Still not really seeing much black. I really want to wheel this blink of an eye, but this card's just great. Even on its own, it just kills three permanents. I mean, usually some are going to be lands, and it's pretty slow, but this will definitely win you a late game. I'm going to be taking this and looking to wheel blink of an eye, probably. It's a weird draft. I'm going to keep saying that. Okay, so in black, there's Vicious Offering, Eviscerate. Uh, I don't really want Dark Bargain. I don't really think we're in white. I think we can kind of rule these out, even though they are quite good. Um, so Vicious Offering is cheaper. We already have an Eviscerate, so I think I might take this, especially with us having cards like Death, Death Bloom Thalid, uh, Rites of Bells and Lock. Just a cheaper spell, especially if we want to be um, E2 Chronicling. Just more effective with our mana. I think that's the case. I think that's what we want. And the red cards in this pack are not that great. Okay. So, final pairing. Not good. Urgaros. So, it's a 6 mana 4 3 flyer. Eh, that's okay. Probably Cloud Reader. Cloud Reader Sphinx is better than that. The question is, am I actually in blue? Uh, the answer as it currently stands is no. And probably I want to just be efficient. So maybe I'm not in blue. Um, so we could take this six drop. Um, we could also take Fungal Infection just as a really good early play. Kill some creatures. card good it's a 4-3 flyer they discard at random and if they can't you draw and we have the ability to reanimate it I guess I'll try it out I think fungal infection is definitely safer it's 
especially with how much top end we already have. But I've never played with this card, so here to find out just how good it is. What is this? When it enters, you can exile a historic permanent and return it. Oh, that's cool. Probably taking Radiating Lightning. I uh, would love to take Verdant Force, but uh, <laughs> not really any way we're casting that. Um, this card is good against a bunch of tokens. It would be good against our deck. I think I'll take it there. Uh, the other consideration could be Divination. Um, if we do get the, what is it, the Bounce spell, so we can bounce our Bombardment, I think that would kind of be a reason for us to go into blue. And I would like to have some card draw in, in a deck of this type. Especially considering I don't think these guys are really going to get there. Um, well, honestly, we could cut these. Taking divination. Doing it. Fully committed. Divination number two. It's card fixing. It's color fixing. Because you're drawing more cards. You can get more cards of better colors, you know? Divination number two. Um, so Rampaging Cyclops is great on defense. Skin Witch is a wizard, though. I think I'm going to take the Skin Witch. Double black on its kicker. That's six mana. There's also Syncopate, but I think if we are blue, I want it to be minimal. Although... The way this is looking, we might be like black, blue, splash red even. At which point syncopate I think would be better than the skin witch. But we we know for sure we're playing black, so I'm gonna take the safe pick here. We need more two drops. Ooh, E2 Chronicler, okay. This card's very powerful. Um, right now we only have... Oh, this gets back Divination too. Yeah, we can... Our late game's insane now. Okay, so I'm putting these back in. Probably this is good enough with the, the number of Chroniclers we have. Skin Witch is a wizard. A wizard? No. I don't know how I feel about this card. But maybe. I'm going to put it over here. Yeah, I don't really want... I also was one in Menace. We're not really beating down. We're kind of just staying alive here. So this is an Artificer Exile Historic card from your graveyard. Um, so we can get Urgos and it can recast rights. Hmm, do I want that or an Opt? This is like really, really slow card advantage. Cast rights. I think that's I think that's better than opt. There we go. Blink of an eye. Card we're looking for. So we can reset. I guess this dies before we can do anything with it, but we can get it back with Rona. Um this lets us kind of really slowly go off with the Chronicler. But I'm gonna take it. I think it's a very good card. Okay, here now I think I'll pick up a Syncopate. We have two Divinations, which I think are better than Dark Bargain. I'll take the Syncopate here. Um, return a Historic Permanent to its owner's hand. Not really in for that. I'll take the Paladin. I just don't think we're going to be final parting. Okay, Arcanist could maybe get there. It is a Wizard. So that's worth taking. Unwind. I don't think I need a snapper here. Okay, so red is basically just late game. The issue I'm running into now is we need double red for these chroniclers to be any good. Maybe we just don't play, we play like one mountain. At which point we cut the chroniclers. I don't think this is getting in there. I just don't have enough good creatures really to get back. I don't know how to feel about Unwind. This deck kind of needs a way to win the game. Uh, this is kind of one way, I guess. How many one power creatures? Still an Awakening. I think we're going to be Champion of the Flaming. We can be Shivan Firing, though. This card is very strong. Uh, just one mana, two damage to any target. 
kicker it does four. So it's like burst lightning that can't hit face. <laughs> Effectively. Um I've actually been pretty impressed with this accolade as well. So I could definitely see taking that, but I think Shivan Fire is just too good to pass up. Uh Untamed Kava if we were in green would be awesome. We're gonna take this fire. Go from there. Okay, there's an elf lady. Sphinx. Probably what we need. We need some ways to close out the game. This is both that and card advantage. Pseudo card advantage, because you scry, so you can put lands on the bottom. Uh, I'd like to wheel this journey mage, but Sphinx is just a great card. It's really pushed as a common. Probably just because how weird it looks. I know that makes no sense. Just ignore it. <laughs> um, Is this a wizard? This is not. Okay, so we have, as far as wizards go, you, you, you wizard? No. Two, three, four, five wizards right now. So this card is just like, it'll probably ping for one. But right now I don't know if it's worth splashing. But we really want these to get in the deck because we have a lot of cool, like, divinations to buy back and such. Um, so what else do we want in this deck? This, we can like really ping them really slowly. Because we have a couple of one threes. Okay, maybe this guy gets in. Lady or guy? The lady, I think. Time of Ice. That card is pushed so far. For those of you who don't know what this card does, so two turns it taps them, and they don't untap for as long as you control this. And then it bounces all the tapped creatures to the owner's hands. So just buys you so much time. And there's nothing else, so we're going to take time advice. That's not even a rare? Wow. And the art's really cool, too. I really like that card. Okay, so here now we're interested. Or it's interesting. We have Blink of an Eye or Gitu Journey Mage. I think we're just going to take Blink. With... um. Things like Time of Ice. <laughs> Maybe let's be real, I'm just comboing with this. That's all I really wanted to. Uh, our mana's gonna be a nightmare. But we, we could figure it out later. Precognition field. I look at the top card, you can cast it if it's instant or sorcery. So it's like a really, really bad future sight. I don't think I like that. Um, we're looking between Wind Grace Accolade and just an Opt. How does our mana look right now? So we have 23 playables if we're doing the Chronicler thing. And the Fire Fist Adept thing. That's a Cat Warrior? Oh, it is. It's a cat on a bird. Interesting. I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. Um... I mean, this is a way to win games. It's kind of slow. We do have two divinations already. Yeah, I'm taking opt. Time of ice again? Whoa, 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 whoa. Or we could take soul salvage and then our deck is like... I guess not really infinite. Well, it is. Um, Let's see. We have this. So we can sacrifice Gitu Chroniclers. And then with Kicker on Gitu Chroniclers, we can get Soul Salvage. Or do we just want another Time of Ice? Hmm, this is tough, because this actually lets us go basically infinite. Which is pretty sweet. But it's really, really slow. Time of Ice. We're taking Time of Ice. I think we have enough to get there. We don't. This card's really big. I don't think we need another unwind. Um, we kind of just need some big dudes. So, this for the sideboard? No, actually I'm going to take this. Um, our deck does not have that many threats. So we kind of need something. You know, some sideboard cards to bring in in case our opponent's playing a similar archetype where they just have a bunch of removal. This card would be sweet if we had any playable artifacts in our deck. Um, I don't think I want a second Rona. 
Do we just pick up a thought omnivore? I don't even I'm not actually sure. The four mana three three. The four mana four two. Alright, I'll take another thought omnivore. I don't know if I'm playing that one. Um That's a six I thought that cost five. Okay, I don't know about six mana. Relic Runner is pretty slow. And it's I guess it will be unblockable if we have Tetsuoko. Okay, I'll take Relic Runner. There's another opt or befuddle if we're looking for more combat tricks, but I think we just want more uh card selection here with double divination. Opt is pretty cool. I'll just take a second opt. Okay. Actually, Stronghold Confessor is pretty good. Just an evasive threat. Yeah, I'll take that. The fact that its kicker is colorless is really important, so it's not double black. Um, I guess I'll take that. Okay, so Talarian Scholar is like medium. Take the snapper for the board. Yeah, okay. So we didn't get there on going infinite, but I don't even know if we need to go infinite anymore. Uh, the time of ice can can hit our creatures. Is that correct? I'm not sure. Okay, so chroniclers, we probably won't have enough red to reliably kick them, which is unfortunate. Um, how many lizard? How many lizards does that leave us with? <laughs> um, you may cast non-land cards. Okay. Relic Runner is not a wizard, not a wizard, that's a wizard, that's a wizard. We have two wizards, I don't think it's worth splashing this, unless they have a lot of X ones. At which point Sheevan Fire kind of loses its uh, utility, because the, the main like benefits of this is you can kill Features early on, but if we're only playing like two mountains, then I don't know how worthwhile it is. Um, I think I want to cut one more card. 16 is totally fine with two opt. I think it's probably this. Um, Unwind is just to protect our threats. And Tetsuko is so that we can get in some chip damage. I think that's worthwhile, right? So Relic Runner, this. The Witch. The Arcanist, the Thalid token, maybe the Confessor are all unblockable? Maybe that's not worthwhile. Maybe I need something bigger. And maybe Double Time of Ice is just too slow. Because we don't have any way to buy back Blink of an Eye right now without the Chroniclers. So... This is hard. Because I want these in the deck. Which also maybe makes this in the deck. But then our mana base gets quite bad. Although we could. Hmm. We're mostly blue. And we're going to play red anyway. Hang on. What about one Chronicler? Instead of you. And in that case, I don't really want a Relic Runner. I could just run another Chronicler, in which case I can run Sheevan Fire. And I can cut this Arcanist. And there's our deck. <laughs> and this is a mana base. Um, how do we feel about five swamps here? So, what happens if we do this? Then 
we really do not have many ways to win the game here. <laughs> okay, we're playing one Chronicler, one of these guys, no Fire Fist adapts. And maybe we just need the Snapper now. And we just save this Chronicler for the late game. I don't even know. Basically, I'm just worried about our ability to close out the game. Because we could also just build the game so that this guy lets us get in for a bunch of damage and they just can't block. Or we can build our deck so that we just have this hexproof turtle. And they could never kill it. Hmm. This is a 2 2. You can buy back Urgos. Okay, I think I'm going to run it like this. We're going to try it like this. You guys run one. All right, round one, and look how good this hand is. We're going to keep. This deck is so great. So happy. <laughs> I'm really worried about our ability to actually finish a game before we just die. But look, we have a 20 turn clock. That's slower. That's faster than we will mill ourselves. So we're doing, we're doing well. There's our Sheevan fire. Um, yeah, it's better. I can syncopate a big play later. I'm just gonna get this down now. Um, deciding if I want to save Rona or not. I guess if they kill this right away, then I can just Rona it. Whoa, they're like a lot of colors. Whoa, what are you kicking? No, 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 not the 5-5. Five five. Oh my gosh. Okay. Whew. Well, maybe gonna need to syncopate something very soon. Their deck looks way more fun than ours. Um, I'm just gonna hold up syncopate because I'm scared of whatever they're about to do. Whoa, what are you kicking over here? Yeah, we're countering that. For sure. Holy cow. 5-5, five, five, kill your 1-3. They are ramping so hard. Okay, so we're going to Divination to try and hit a Mountain. I said that, but do we actually need to kill this 1-2? Because they already have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 mana. I think we're actually better off saving this Sheevan Fire for uh, one of their bigger threats later on. Could be wrong, but they just have so much mana as it is. Yeah, perfect. This guy. Cast with Kicker. Keep free. That's a bit annoying. Still thinking one a turn. We're drawing a lot of lands. Suppose we might as well get in there with Rona, right?
You can start drawing us cards. She? I think it's a she. Yeah. Wow, their mana base is awesome. <laughs> really curious what's in their hand. What are you kicking? Get out of here. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine? What cost nine mana? Oh. Okay. Why are you a two? Whoa, it's a two six. <laughs> That's really good. Okay, so they have a seven seven, and we've drawn basically nothing. Um, let's hit for one. Four, one, two, three. So, I guess if we hit Divination, this is worth doing now. I don't have any double black cards. Good card, too. And you can cast it any time, right? Yeah. Okay, so next turn we can just bounce their 7-7. Seven, seven, make them recast it. Take seven. I like opt a lot. If we hit eviscerate, I think that's just better. Womp, I do not want. That's a good card. That's very good. We can tap their druid. And tap. For oh, okay. So we do just have to tap this, I think. Three. And I think it doesn't untap. I'm trying to wonder if I bounce this and then replay it. I don't think this untaps. I don't think that does. Journey Mage. Trigger Creature. Okay. What are you bouncing? Probably Rona. Can't kick this. Guess I want my Stronghold Confessor back. Oh, I can start getting in. Whoa, what do you have now? Fights, target creature, and opponent control. Fair enough. Well, I think I do definitely have to sheep and fire down that journey mage. And we're going to save Rona to buy back the Time of Ice. For one, <laughs> this is like the slowest beat down of the century.
Bottom top. Oh, wait, we can buy back rights of... We can buy that card back with Throna, that's way better. Go ahead. Actually, is it better? Because we could just keep tapping their guys. Okay, so it does not have Trample. Is your last card a pump spell? Can I beat a pump spell? Hmm. Good question. Can I beat a pump spell? Because we're going to keep this tap for three more turns. And this is, I think we actually can beat a pump spell here. Because we're going to get a 6-6 six, six demon. Play this. Play her. Back that. Bash. And our own ones are unblockable. That's great. <laughs> so if they play the kicked thing, the turtle, whatever. Uh, we could just tap it. I don't know, maybe it was too conservative to trade off the Sphinx, but yeah, I think we're doing okay, because we're just going to get a demon and we're drawing a bunch of cards every turn. So their deck... I think Time of Ice is actually very good against them. So for those who don't know, I, I cited out another Time of Ice. I don't know how they beat this card. But it's really slow. I don't think I want to. I'm just going to submit, because they got like the perfect ramp right away. Yeah, because having two is kind of awkward. I'm going to keep this hand. Go. Land of War Elves? Oh, okay. Land of War Elves is busted. Mountain. Sure. Okay. Or Chronicler. Time for the 20 turn clock. <laughs> is, it, is it sad that this card is in here as a legit win con? It might be sad. It also might just be great. Now here's the question. If I opt and I see a mountain, do I keep it? I think so. Because I do need mana as it is. We are gonna opt here now. Don't keep a swamp. That I can tell you. Go. We can actually kind of go infinite with time of ice by oh never mind. You can't tap your own creatures. Will he has seven cards in hand? Even unwind. Come on, cast a big non creature like a planeswalker. Cast Karn. Yes. There we go. Man, that feels good. And Divination? I think jamming the Sphinx is better. Just gives us more pressure while the opponent's a little behind. Hmm. 
Definitely want one to the bottom. I'm playing Divination next turn, so we're going to hit some lands. And if we do draw lands, we want it to be a mountain so that we can chronicler back our Divination. If it was a mountain, I think I would have kept it. Wow, they really want lands. Womp. Okay. They brought in Pierce the Sky? I have... Oh, no, I have the 6-6 six, six Demon. It makes sense. Um, not playing any red cards this turn. We'll tap like this. Back. And I'm going to wait to kick the Confessor, I think. Although... It is unblockable right now. That's actually a tough decision. Like, a 1-1 one, one unblockable or a 3-3 three, three menace next turn. What do I want? I'm gonna take the unblockable. Uh, that's so bad if they kill this guy, this lady. Now we're going for it. We're we're playing we're playing to win here. One one unblockable is actually pretty powerful. Especially because we, we have a lot of stall cards in our hand. Time of Ice especially can buy a lot of time. Elf Gorger, no kicker. So that also gives us something to sack to Vicious Offering. Yep. Oh yeah. Unblockable clerics. Go. And this gives us so many chump blockers too. Actually, I think this deck is pretty solid. We just have a like a solid amount of inevitability with like one one unblockables, some card draw, time of ice to buy time. Gonna take the five. Yeah, we can chump block bigger things later. Now I think I want to do that now. Ooh, divination? Yes, please. Guys. Draw two. And we bought him so many islands, but this is actually pretty great now because we have blink of an eye up still to protect whatever we need. So maybe they have a way to kill our 6-6, which would be kind of annoying, but we can buy this back. They probably have a big kicker here. Okay. Probably you fight the 1-3, which we will be bouncing. We got Blink of an Eye back. Perfect. <laughs> Hopefully they don't have Blink of an Eye. They should have attacked with a 1-2. Need 
demon. Say you. Tap your five five. One. Yep, we're getting there slowly and steadily. One mountain off the top, we can buy back divination, or you know, start going off with the really slow blink of an eye card draw. Ah oh, man, that sucks. Yep, kills the demon. But we still have inevitability with our unblockable guys. Ooh, we can kill the last two cards in their hand too. Um, so next turn it returns all tapped creatures. Owner's hand. Yeah, because they're, they're going to attack no matter what, so I might as well just stop them from being able to attack. This puts it into their hand so they can bounce one of my guys, but there are worse things. What's in your hand? Whoa, they got really greedy. Okay. Oh, that Peasant Bombardment off the top just gone. That's so good. Yep. So if they have a creature, we can bounce Blink of an Eye. Eviscerate the one three. This is really important for our strategy. I think I actually bounce you. This card's really good. They're spending four mana to try and kill a two drop. Or one three. Ooh, and a mountain. Awesome. Bounce your team. They get some value, which is annoying. So I can't play Tetsuok, Tetsuko this turn. Um, mountain. Cast with Kicker. Um. Getting back divination. Yeah, that seems fine. Oh, yeah. For two. So they can bounce something. They don't want to bounce anything I have. With the clerics. They can play the fight creature, which will be annoying, but not the end of the world. They can get more mana. So we know the last two cards in their hand. And they can only play one of Token, fine. Ooh, eviscerate. Uh, I kind of want to save that. Wait, one, two, four, one, two, three, four, five. So I can eviscerate the three, two, hit for two, put them down to five. Oh yeah, we'll just do that. And 
And this is Menace. So I don't even have to worry about this being blocked. It's a long game. Now we have a lethal flyer that they have to kill. And it turns out playing this as a 1 1 was way better than giving it menace. Because now they have to fight this guy. And then I can give my guys unblockable. <laughs> Let's do it. Woo! Round one down. Just the slow, steady 1-1 one, one beatdown is exactly what our game plan was. It worked perfectly. See you guys round two. Hello, welcome to round two. This hand is acceptable. It's not amazing, but we got interaction, late game, one of two mountains that we would need. They put me on the play? I think I actually... Uses to not play first. Okay, so they're a very slow deck, which is <laughs> what I like. Not sure if drawing first is correct in Dominaria, because it seems like the games can snowball pretty quickly, especially in the vacuum. Like, if you know your opponent, like, playing against a deck like mine, maybe I would choose to draw. But there's no way they would know that. Like, what if I'm, like, mono white beat down or something? Yeah, it, it seems weird choosing to draw in a vacuum, but it's spent in draft. Maybe in seal is worth it, but especially if you don't know the matchup, I don't know about that. Um, I think I want pressure over divination, especially because I have no plays next turn anyway. I can just divination next turn, and this is not really a threat my opponent wants to kill because I still get something out of it. That is a cool. This head exploding? Ooh, divination plus. Oh, oh man, this is gonna be a great turn. Boom. Okay. I mean, we did need lands. One, two, three. Six, because now we can cast Ur Urgoros, the empty one. So, not too upset about that. What is this? Exile target creature. Dang, dude. Well, they're trading their premium 4-drop removal spell for my 3-drop. I'm kind of okay with that. You can buy back Urgoros. Things get weird. Oh. We can sheave and fire if they play a creature. Oh. Well, that's a good play for them. Expecting a mountain, just with how these games go. Okay, so they are just straight green-black. Vicious Offering gives us some trouble here. But then we can buy it back with Rona. As long as they don't settle the score again. Is that the demon build ends a lock or whatever? Four mana. No! Why can't why are you exiling, boy? Oh, that's really good. Now we need to decide if we're saving Rona or not. 
Hopefully we just hit a mountain and we can chronicler back divination. Yeah, now we have some decisions to make. I think given that my hand does absolutely nothing, I just have to do this. They get to see how good the exile effect is of their removal, but... I just need something, first of all, that blocks this and puts them on the back foot. Because they need to answer this or else I'm going to get a lot of value. And otherwise I'm doing actually nothing because there's <laughs> no point in killing this one too, and they're not presenting me with any other threats. Boom. What is this? Ooh, okay. That's really good here. I think I discard Shivan Fire and Vicious Offering. I think? Although, how likely is it that I even draw a mountain? You know? This this makes leaking really good though. Yeah, it sucks, but we're gonna have to do this. The opponent's like, oh my god. <laughs> Mountain? I'll leave. More important action or putting stuff in play. I think I'm gonna go for action. We can hit divination or opt island. Oh. Well, I'm glad I did that. I didn't want to draw that island. Although it would let us Omnivore plus activate Rona. Man, this is going to be a long game, isn't it? Yeah, opponent's deck looks great. What would be sweet is if you had a bunch of Skittering Surveyors and the, the legend who makes her 1-2 is unblockable. Just so much value. Oh wow, I need to kill that. We could draw a land, that would be great. Okay, actually unwind is nice. Not a land, so we can't activate Rona this turn. But it means they can't do anything too crazy? Man, they took cards so good in this matchup. But now we can keep that in mind. So we can uh, sandbag some lands if we're going into the late game. Because, you know, if we had discarded like, what do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven lands. If we had just two islands in hand or something. It really wouldn't have been so bad, because we don't need more than six, five lands at the moment. Um, the sixth land gives us Gichu Chronicler, which we need the mountain for anyway. Really? I'll bite. Unless it's a flash creature, we can counter it.
Alright, that actually went really well. Now I think we're quite ahead. Okay, opt is good. Oh yeah. And yeah, we just pass. So they have double white, one card in hand. Totally fine taking three. We can just trade thought like a thought omnivore is gonna be huge with all these clerics. Oh that's good. You know, I really would appreciate one more land. <laughs> Pick blink of an eye, use Rona for its ability. Omnivore is almost just lethal right now. And if this dies, we can bounce Rona and then just recast it immediately. Or just bounce this. E either way. What is this much mana? Sure. <laughs> then life don't matter to me. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so if we draw a mountain, we can chronicler and still hold up blink of an eye. Mostly I want to keep her around. Um, I want to blink of an eye her to get back the rights. But on a turn where I can cast both right away. Oh. <laughs> I think I just do it now. Can I do it now? We do it at end of turn, I guess. And they can't attack profitably into this. Do I attack? Eh. I'll wait one turn. No! God, that's horrible. Um, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Yeah, I think I do it here. One, one. And. Getting this back, yes. Oh, what's that? <laughs> Got our dude back? Okay. More demons. Play the Arcanist. Next turn we can just swing with Omnivore too, and there's no way they just have to chump it basically. Am I dead? No, no, no. There's no way. This is annoying though. Wait, am I dead? Okay, that card is good, if you flood it out quite a lot.
Okay, so they're swinging out, so... See what we got. Kill you. 1-3 can block a 2-2. Two, 2-2 two. Two, two can block a 1-2. And then we're taking one, two, three, uh, so these need to get chumped for sure. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So I block here. I think this many, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How many creatures back do I need to kill them? One, two, three. These are all attacking me? What are attacking me right now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven? Why is this so hard to see what's attacking and what's not? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. These are all blocked, no trample. Um, on the back swing, I will have one, two, three, four creatures. So that's six, 79, 10, 11, 12. Plus the four that I sacrifice is eight more. Yeah, that should be lethal. I'm just gonna count again, because this is very important. One, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 damage. And I think we're good. No trample. This is surviving. This is surviving. This is surviving. This dies. I think we have more than enough damage, so I'm just going to block one more just in case I'm... I'm like dumb and can't count. Okay, I did count correctly, but I think they're dead anyway. Back in 01. And this makes more tokens, and they just die. GG's. Six, seventy nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Oh no. Wait, 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 wait. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. I don't have lethal. I got punked. Three, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 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 Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen,
Ooh, okay, we need to draw a creature here, I think. Though I don't need the Chronicler. Thank you. Yeah, I really misplayed that. Demon. So... You lose life. For each one life you lost, exile a permanent or a card from your hand or graveyard. So they're at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Wow, they just gained so much life. Fast with kicker. They have three attackers. I don't want to have to chump anything. I can block a 3-3. Three, three. And I want her back to activate the ability. Guess we just hit for six? This is bizarre. permanent control from your hand or graveyard so just graveyard next turn we have to sack two creatures hmm This is really, really close. Come on, you can't draw the nuts again, right? What is this? They drew Sylvan Awakening into Lich's Mastery. This is an insane game. Ugh, okay. Could be worse. I don't know why they tapped so much mana. Alright, now we gotta figure out what to do here. We're gonna lose two creatures. Use her ability. Long book. Hmm. We're gonna sack these two guys, I think. Okay, that's nice. Um, so she even fire's already gone. I'm gonna attack my mountain. Ooh, the Sphinx is very good. Okay, I like the Sphinx here. Hazard Bombardment? I think it's too slow. So we have three blockers, they have four attackers, so they can hit us for two. And we can make them sacrifice 12 permanents, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then they just die next turn. Because this blocks here, this blocks here, this blocks here, this gets in for two. And then we lose this and this. And on our upkeep, we sack a demon in the Sphinx. And then we're okay. All right. 
And if they block with a spider, then we can just sack one of the creatures that we wouldn't have been blocking with. Okay, I think we're okay. I've never seen this card played in limited, but it seems interesting. That kind of rules out kicker cards. What's nice about having two of these is we can just sack them to each other. <laughs> okay, so they have to draw something here, otherwise they lose. An enchanted creature dies, turn that card into its own. Okay. Go ahead. Oh, interesting. They exiled the enchantment. Clever. What the heck? You can't just draw that. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3. If they attack, then they die, I guess. That is like the best possible draw. They gave them... <laughs> Such a good draw. Okay. Now what do we do? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. So if we just sack these two, we lose. Hang on. So one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's what the two demons would do. They'll have these three left. Um So if this hits, that puts them down to just Lich's mastery in play. And we will have two demons and a sphinx. And then the following turn we can sacrifice. Because the following turn, they will just have Lich's Matry as their last permanent. And we can just sacrifice these two to each other. And then hit with the Sphinx to kill them. Yeah. That's their game plan. Hang on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3 off the Sphinx. They have no cards in play. We have two demons, which they sack to each other, and a Sphinx, which then we kill them with the following turn. Okay, here we go. Oh. That doesn't actually do anything. All right, Lich's Mastery is your last permanent. <laughs> They've gained so much life. They even drew this sprout Spore Swarm here. Yeah, this card was very good for them there. It almost got them there. Especially with this card on top. I'm wondering if there's a way I could have done this differently so that I wouldn't have just died. I don't know. This was really, really tough. Thanks for sticking with me if you did. This has been one grind of a game for sure. Not, not a game, not a type of game I've ever played before.
That's, this this makes some weird sub game shenanigans. Yep. Put on to no permanence. <laughs> Literally at one permanent play. That's amazing. So this is his trigger. I sacrifice you. This is his trigger. I sacrifice you. <laughs> They're at negative 22 life. And no permanence. Oh, you didn't even let me get the flawless. Fine. What? Oh, that wasn't even game three. Oh my god. All right, we gotta go fast. Okay, round. Wait, no, game three. Uh, we're gonna mulligan this hand. I don't think the one one's gonna get there, but this hand's good. Opt can dig us into action. We don't want more swamps though. Why do they keep putting us on the play? All right. Fine with that. I think I'm gonna hold off on the Stronghold Confessor because we want to give it menace. And this is the opponent who made us discard two, I believe. So we need to think about that. I don't want more island. I don't know how many blink of an eyes we want. This is a weird hand, to say the least. Lich's Mastery has Hexproof, so I can't blink of an eye. It's good to know. Uh, kicker three, go. <laughs> Doing absolutely nothing here. Divination would have been awesome that turn. Okay. Even Fire can kill that. Next. Sure. The annoying part about this is if you just click it to cast, you're just going to get a 1 1. That'll be a bad time. Okay, so Chief and Fire is online. I think they didn't have that many big threats, really. Yeah, that's something to keep. Probably more annoying than the 3 2. Just a swamp. I think I bounce your guy. Just to cycle it, because I just need to draw cards here. Then we can sheave and fire down this bird. Because we don't have many good ways to deal with flyers. But we'll have plenty of ways to block their 3-2 in the coming turns. And just hope we draw a divination or something. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six lands? Seven. Seven lands is kind of a lot. If we can draw the uh, destroy four permanents at random card and then have blink of an eye, I think we can just win the game because we're just going to target all their lands with that card. Sure. Oh, that's a great draw. Wait for three menace. One, two. So we don't have Blink of an Eye to protect the Sphinx just yet. But I still think we run it out. Get Scry 2 as well. Oh, yes. Um, Divination into Opt or Opt? I guess Divination into Opt is better, right? Yeah, so up. put this on top. Okay, now we're really set up. Yeah, because we opt into divination, we just lose the scry. Don't kill it. You're gonna kill it, aren't you? Yeah. Oh. Okay. It doesn't look like a dead Cloud Reader Sphinx to me. Yep. 
Yep. So they just play their three mana three two again. Okay. Yeah, I'm down to take three. Alright, so divination costs three, one, two, three. We already have Sheev and Fire casted actually, so I just want to cast Double Red. Because we're not going to play one of the 1-3s here. Opt in Island. So we want Island up for Blink of an Eye. The question is, do we want to give them the chance to block so that we can eat their 1-2? Or do we just want to bounce their guy and get in for 6, put them down to 8? I think I'd rather give them a chance to block. Oh, that goes even better. Good. They're going to try and race, it seems. <laughs> Do they just jam Lich's mastery here? <laughs> I mean, it gains them some life, but not. It's not an option. It's not like you can choose not to die or exile a thing. It's like it just exiles a thing. So they're just going to lose all their lands if they lich his mastery. They eviscerate my Sphinx. I will bounce in response. And then I get the scry again. Oh, wait. Picker discarded two. Okay. Suppose I just discard opt because if I draw something good off of it, I don't want to have to discard it. Yeah, I guess that's okay. Like once again, I'm not playing my lands properly. Although that time actually made sense to play the land for blink of an eye. So I think it's okay there. I take six. I go to eight. I can bounce their surveyor. And just put them down to two. I think I like just putting them down to two. I'm winning this race by a lot now because I have to keep two guys black back to block my 3-3. Three, three. Those two islands were not great. Suppose I should have just opted. And I guess we're dead to Lynch's mastery here because we drew just lands. Oh man. Come on. All right. So we take seven, go to one. <sighs> and we know they have a historic permanent, so they can tap our blockers next turn. Yep. Card's good. Two, three, four, five. So they could just keep their creatures. So we need to draw something great here. I don't even know what there is to draw. Start. A way to kill the three. Ooh. Gives us chump blockers. This game all over again, I see.
Um, so we can survive. It'll be chump chump chump, but we can survive. Right, because we know they have a way to tap a guy. And if we attack, we're just dead. Go! Hopefully they tap out for a big flashy spell. Yeah, so you tap, so okay, so block, uh... It was definitely a mistake to bounce this instead of the Skin Witch. And I should have thought of that ahead of time. I just, yeah, because this is a heroic, historic spell, and this kicker wouldn't have done anything here. We actually could have syncopated it. And now they get an extra land, which gives them more cards in hand for Lich's Mastery. Yeah, that was a mistake. But we're still top decking here. Four mana. Come on, four mana. One more. Oh, it doesn't even matter. It's just when you cast. Okay. Well, we're just dead. All right. Mono skittering surveyor GG. That's brutal. I think we may have had a chance if they didn't. We didn't bounce that. Let's see what would have happened. So we're dead. They didn't bounce that. They couldn't really attack profitably because we block, block, kill that. Oh, we just draw island. Yeah. Wait. That was game. Wait, we have another game. Oh my gosh, I thought that was game three. Okay, this is crazy. <laughs> These games have been so long. Okay, we're on the play. We're going first. Um, keep. We can syncopate whatever they do. They have a lot of threes. So, I'm pretty excited to syncopate that. And hopefully with Rite of Bells and the Lock, we can just kill them pretty quickly. Okay. I almost want to just I, sh I probably should have just ran this out as a 1-3 because they don't have many good 2 drops unwind makes me pretty happy go honestly I think I countered that. Okay, now we're just gonna get the beats in. Go. Um, the main reason why we countered that is if we do resolve haphazard bombardment, it's likely just gonna kill lands. We know their mana is not great. So we're just kind of setting up for the late game. Uh, dude, you can't just have mono skittering surveyors. All right, well, if we hit a swamp, then we're doing pretty well because then we can get this guy going. Did they just fail to find? Okay. Oh, now any land is good. Yeah, we're we're doing okay. Any land is good. Um. Even the one three that gets spells back, we could probably do something with. That's annoying. That's weird that they failed to find off the surveyor. So now we just do this. Uh, 
one, two, yeah, let's just mastery is triple black. So we're just going to kill all their swamps. And we're going to attack for one and keep our one three back. Because if they want to kill our one three, that's totally fine. Got him. <laughs> okay, they have one turn to do something to this. And then we have unwind up. And that's probably just game, because they just lose all their lands, of which they already had very few. And we have unblockable guys. We're going to make a demon. Yeah, that should be game. If, unless they have something here. That is not it. Womp. Yes. So I'm fine trading two for two, because I'm making a 6-6, six, six, and they're running low on lands. They can Gideon's Reproach. Do I actually care about that? Not really. They already let me block. Yeah, I don't really care about that. I mostly just want to protect the demon from like a bounce spell or a kill spell. They're not going to have enough mana to cast the creature that bounces something. Yep. Take two. Wow, I really thought that was game three, the last game we just played. What is this? Oh. All right. That is a spell that you can play. Holy cow. Do I take nine? Round it up or down? I take eight. Good play there. These have been the swingiest matches of my life. There's no way that they're casting the kicked guy. So I just pass turn. They lose a swamp. I'd like to draw a non-land here. That'd be ideal. Yep. Are you just going to draw a natural island next turn? To combo me out? We have to be stacking two creatures a turn. Go. Um. Doesn't do anything. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I can actually do this all at once right now. It's definitely worth it. Wait, I want to make sure. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Do I care about him? Not really, for. <laughs> Get out of here, 6-6. Six, six. And you don't have enough mana to filter for blue. You're taking 6 this turn? Yeah, this should be it. Back in 0-1. Oh, yeah. Popped. Don't want you to... Popped. <laughs> I want you. Wow, look at that filtering. Um, I think I saved Villainous Offering. I'm not too worried about their 3 2 here. And 
they lose a land. Oh yeah. This is this is this card in its full glory. <laughs> it's killing seven permanents. We're just gonna take three. Back you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is so good. Out. Back of land. Man, Haphazard Bombardment is, in my opinion, one of my favorite cards in the set. Um, I think now I just kill it. this back you no lands oh wow no permanence okay six six and you're dead That's what happens. <laughs> so I killed your swamps. Whew. All right, thanks for watching. See you guys around three. Hello and welcome to the finals. We are on the draw. Draw, I think. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna keep this hand. <laughs> we don't really have many castable cards, but we have divination to get us there. And the right of, I'm never gonna be able to pronounce this. Bells in lock. Can uh, get us going, so. Did I skip? No, we're good. Okay. Uh, hopefully we draw a castable card before then, because on the draw we will have to discard with Divination. But that's not the end of the world. We do have a one-drop to discard. Okay. Let's draw... <laughs> Black Source? I think I... Uh, it depends on if I draw a land. If I don't draw a land, then I'm definitely Divinationing, just as like a loot. Knight of Malice, sure. First. Um, yeah, I think I want to run that out. Then I can Divination next turn, and then I don't have to discard. So, that's a lot better. This card is excellent. I've been so impressed with this. Um, just as a long-term win condition for a deck like this one that's super grindy. Because we have a lot of 1-3s, right? A lot of the, uh... The Wizards with Kicker. Oh man, please don't counter this. Ooh, that would have been really bad. Um, I'm not going to attack. I don't want to trade one for two. Anyway, what I was saying is a lot of the wizards with kicker uh, are one threes. Like the skin witch, the... Ooh, that's bad. Okay. The gitu, whatever it is. Summoner. The one three. The one that gets back spells. So this ability is actually quite relevant. Womp. Chronicler is what I was saying. Um, well, this is bad. Really, though, what are the odds that we don't draw another land? Very low. Um, I think I just run both of these guys out. I don't want to discard. And I have so much stuff to do with my mana. Uh, yeah, I think our hand is very set. As soon as we hit black mana, I think we should be okay. We just have to actually get to that point. Um, if I double block and they kill a guy, I get kind of blown out. But if they had a trick, then they would have been attacking with the knight. I'm going to go for it. I'm fine trading my 1-3. But they're 3-2. Because the late game favors us right now. Our hand is stacked. Yeah. Okay, Swamp would be great, because we don't really have an easy way to deal with that. Island is annoying. Okay, we can Time of Ice to buy a bit of time here. 
really drain a bunch of mana from our opponent too. But we, we gotta hit a swamp in the next few draws here. I mean this is this is the price to pay for having this mana base, right? In which sure. Um so I don't want this one three. And the Skin Witch, I'm not going to have double black, so I could just discard these two. The gig is up, I'm playing black cards. Man. We'll play the Arcanist, but we really need to hit a land here. No point. We can, yeah, because Rona can buy back Tetsuo, Tetsuko. They're attacking. Probably just a bluff, but you never know. Oh, because they want to bounce their guy. That's actually a good play. Um. This is actually hard, because we can blink of an eye our time of ice. And that buys us quite a bit of time. One, two, three, four. Um, we take seven. Might actually do that. So now we just pass turn. That way, you know, it just gives us more time to draw a swamp, so we can just die. Block here. There we go. Um... So now we can eviscerate if we want. Because if we eviscerate, we can also play Rona. Oh, wait, I need my black. Oh, we can't do both. Okay, hang on. Yeah, we just have to do this. Don't counter it. They seem like they would have a counter. Incapate. Okay. Oh. We don't have any castable spells here, so passing turn. Taking some damage, but that might actually be better now, because then we can eviscerate the abomination. Uh, if we draw a swamp, actually, we can just get chump blockers. Six. Sure. They killed the worst one, which is interesting. Okay, that's where we drew all three mountains here. Kill your 5-5. Five, Last five. Nice turn. Now we're just taking one. Uh, and with the Sphinx, we can hopefully scry into swamps. We can Rona back our 1-3, but I kind of want to save Rona to get this back. Because our opponent still has five cards in hand. I'm assuming it's all removal. Settle the score. Yeah, if they're settled the scoring at 1-3, then... 
Definitely all removal. All right, if we can hit a swamp here, that would be great. Island might actually still be okay. Yeah, because we can play the Sphinx. And the Thalid. Um, Syncope, I think, is too slow, but I'm actually okay with this bombardment. We can start attacking their mana base if they don't do anything here, and if they play a big threat, uh, we can go after that as well. Oh, wow. Getting back. Vicious Offering, killing the Sphinx almost for sure. What sorcery? They can get back, settle the score. Wow. Yep, that's going to be rough. It's going to be rough. Okay. You... Ah, uh, non enchantment, classic. Um, go. Yep. So now they don't have. The black man, if they had just used their thing to kill the Thalid, or the Sphinx? No, because they would have to sacrifice, so I wouldn't just be dead. Okay, we're still in this. It's really close, that's for sure. But, because next turn, if we draw a Swamp, we can play this, that gives us blockers forever. And they won't necessarily have black mana to cast the exile spell. Yeah, they just have to do it now. So they can't even double it. You take one, but that's not horrible. Okay. Solid Omnivore. He can gain us life, actually, but I think I'd rather just Rona and Tetsuko. As much as I would like to write of Belenzok, I think this is just better. Yep. Go. Alright, what are you killing? <laughs> okay, so they get double spells. We'll see what they have here. Mario Conjecture is a very powerful card. Fuck here, they have a 1 3. Um, I think it's worth double blocking. I'm trying to think what spell they could play once that wouldn't just get me when they attack twice. I'm just going to double block. Because, like, Fungal Infection would already kill Rona. I see. So now they can kill the 1 3 and my 2. It's annoying, but still, we're, like, not doing terribly. Okay, now we're doing it. Um, so I don't want to play the right just yet, because I don't want to be chump blocking. I want to play the Thalid Omnivore, and then the right.
Got him. <laughs> now you just have a 1-3. This card is very good. I, I know I keep saying that, but it really is. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Maybe we're just dead now. <laughs> okay. Alright. Um... I think I have to do this now, right? Um, and we're sacking the Death Bloom Thalid. Huh. <sighs> okay. Go. No attacks. We're at two. Yeah, we have quite a few live draws still. We have one more divination. Oh no. Okay. That's interesting that it does damage instead of loss of life. Okay. Here's our swamps. <laughs> Let's see how well this demon can serve us. Uh, so I do actually kind of have to pressure them, but I need my guy to stay around. Yeah, I need this back as a blocker because I can't be chumping with clerics. I don't think Maybe there's a mistake. Maybe I want to be as aggro as possible because any flyer just kills me Wow, they have five cards in hand now I don't think this demon is long for this world Snapper, okay Yep, make clerics. Uh, I'm gonna sandbag this land. And I can't attack. My opponent's actually milling out before I am. But I think the demon's gonna <laughs> kind of settle that deal sooner than that. And our Thalid is dead. Wait, how did he... Go to the graveyard? We didn't get a Thalid? Oh, because he was frozen, right? Okay. Got a flying demon, you're in a three turn clock. Wow. They might have run out of cards. Deep freeze. Okay. It loses all abilities, right? So it no longer... Okay. Right. Unwind. I don't think I want that. Ooh, that's good. That's quite good. I don't have any good attacks. They're milling out before I am. Oh? I don't really know what I'm drawing to. Wow, okay. They must have something very good that they're drawing to. I need to draw cards, but just slightly slower than they are, and we should be okay. Yep. They kept up two mana. I think I kind of want to sheave and fire it on their upkeep. Oh, that's good. I play this. I keep up blink of an eye. I can bounce the deep freeze. If I really need to. 
one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, one. Wow. Now I'm doing this now. Am I? No, I'm doing this on the upkeep. Right? No, we're doing this now. And I'm going to be able to play around syncope, right? One, two, six. One, two, three, four, one. Yeah. Um, swamp, swamp, swamp. I think that's what we do around here. Oh, we get four. Wow. Okay. It doesn't target. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't even target. That's awesome. I was not aware. Your Drake is dead. I have chump blockers forever. You got five cards in deck. I'm at eight. Okay. Yep. Ah, that was the one. That was it. I think I was greedy bouncing the haphazard bombardment. That was my downfall. Okay. I don't deserve this one. I'll give myself that. Yeah, if I had just kept the uh the bounce effect, I could have just blinked him in the eye of the accolade and I would have won. I assume they have a way to kill Urgoros. And then I just die. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I could have won this game. Because they wouldn't have been able to recast this card. So I'm just dead. Well. We'll. We'll do a thing. No, I'm just dead. I don't have flyers. Do I have anything else to win? Yeah, if, if I just blink of an eyed and saved it. Because there's no reason to use it on this. This was just overkill. That's. That's really disappointing. Because I really had a good shot at it, too. Um, so Unwind seems actually pretty decent against them. So does Gitu Chronicler, because their deck's not very fast. They have a lot of flyers. I'm a voice. Do I want that against them? They just have the big 5-5. Five five. You know what, we're just gonna run it back. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, I don't agree with that play. It was just, there's no reason, like it felt good, right? Like doing this feels good, but it doesn't protect me from anything. There's no use in doing it. I could have even saved it to bounce this so that I could potentially kill a threat that they had, right? I could have put a counter on that 3-2 flyer. So these are things to look out for when you're playing. Yeah. I mean, you know, they had to have the removal and whatever, but like it's <laughs> that's what their deck is, it's removal. Okay, so as far as we know, we pretty much need to save eviscerate for their five five. Otherwise we have no way to deal with it. 
play first. So their deck's very slow. I'm gonna choose the draw. And I have the most islands. I think I keep this hand on the draw. As soon as I hit an island, Opt can help me dig into other things. I at the very least should be able to cast this Thalid on turn three. Oh no. Didn't I have mana trouble last game too? Island. There we go. Um, I don't want to play around Syncopate. But they'll, they'll have a lot of targets for Syncopate. I'd rather they counter my 1-3. And they, they don't have an easy way to kill this card in their deck. They have the, the thing that make it ice. Okay, Academy Drake. So we can Vicious Offering that. The most important thing here... Oh, I sequenced my lands wrong, didn't I? Yeah, because now I can't... No, 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 we're fine. Okay. <laughs> Forget what I said. Um, I'm going to kill you. For one. And pass. Do I want to opt? Yeah, I think I do. Uh, I don't want that. We're looking for like really divinations here. Hit for one. I do. Hello. Play the Thalid. Yeah, we're going to have to play pretty quick because we need to win two games. We're F2-ing. Next turn, we're doing nothing. Yep. Okay. We can opt into a Swamp. In which... No, we need a Swamp for that. Not an Island. We need both swamps and mountains, <laughs> just not islands. Go. Um, island. Key to Chronicler. Think of an eye. You can bounce the Thalid, but that's not even that good. Gonna pass and keep this in hand. If they play something this can train with like pretty well. Artifact or creature. Oh, that's annoying. Goodbye, Ergoros. Okay, so hit for one. Do I want to just jam the right here? I think so. They know it's in my hand. Okay. So, like, they could have syncopated it or something. What is this?
Okay. So they can bounce my blink of an eye. Yes. Um, I can discard this. I can bounce something. Do I want to bounce their 1-3? Not doing anything, nah. Oh, that's a good draw. Now we can be super aggressive with Thalid Omnivore, and they have to chump block in every turn. Plus we have the demon coming up, so... I can't have six, unfortunately. Because they could try and get me with the, uh... Oh. Well, this can't even sack to itself, can it? Nope. Okay. That means they have an answer to the demon as well. So attack for one. Divination. Land to go. Um, so I can have six now because I can't respond to anything. So this is probably getting bounced. Yeah, ooh, that's the worst way. Okay. For one, I'm shaving, saving Shivan Fire for flyers. Um, my O4 can block their three two pretty well right now. Oh, or that. We have a lot of chump blockers, at least. My clock's really, really slow compared to theirs. Yep. I have malice. Okay, this is getting a little bad now. Only taking one because I get to chump. Okay. Go. I think I just need to play to win here. I can't lose my Arcanist. I need to kill them in like five turns here. And just assume that I have enough chump blockers to get there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. Yeah, I can do that. Okay, got me. That's not good. I think I'm losing this game. They have a 5-5 five, five death touch. Just gonna take seven. I think I need these clerics around in case I can get back right. 
Okay, we really need to stop drawing lands. So. Yeah, now we just have to kill the 3 2 with Sheevan Fire. Chump the 5 5, just give us a bit more time here. Now you play your thing, yep. I'm pretty sure they just drew that too, <laughs> which is what really hurts. Whoa. They milled a lot of good cards. Um, what really sucks is I think we have to kill the 3 2 flyer. Hmm. Vicious offering, Sheevan fire. We're gonna run out of chumps anyway. I have to kill the one that's bigger. Go. Yeah, because maybe we can... I don't remember what we have, but maybe we have something that does two. And at the very least, because we're going to only be able to chump for one turn, this is a slower clock. Yeah, so now at least we have one more chump for the cleric. Oh, that's good. No way, I still don't have a swamp. Yep. Still no swamp, double swamp, I mean. That's insane. We've drawn all these lands and still none of them are useful. <laughs> The reason I got this instead of the 4-3 uh, the is the 4-3 just trades off and we're still in a bad spot. Um, so we're going to have to draw some way to kill this and then something else. Okay, maybe this can get us there. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Attack with Rona, last turn. Bounce you. Block here, pump. Dude, so many lands. Um, yeah, I think we just have to use Rona. More swamps. Sure. Go. Go to two? I don't like this. Yep. Wow. Go. You have a kill spell? Man, their deck is mono removal. <laughs> they still have more? Jeez, man. All right. They had it all. Two games opponent. Yeah, their deck was insane. We really didn't stand a chance. Oh, man. Thanks for watching, everybody. This is a crazy round three. And, uh... You know, 2-1 was not bad with this deck. I'll see you guys next time.
Well, I guess I have to actually die. <laughs> Possibly mess it up. Blink of an eye. And then they attack. Okay, okay. They got there. I want to see what else was in the deck. Okay. Or we are not allowed to. No, we can't. Draw. Oh, that would have been good. That's That would have been great. Bombardment. Time of Ice would have been good. Those would have all been good cards. Alright, see you guys next time.